Somali, you're Somali. Yeah, Somali. Djibouti, Somali, yeah. But that's the country my yeah. family's from. So let's talk now. So Got it. I want to talk about, I want to talk about, and, you know, the success of my community in, say, Minnesota. Right. Um, one thing I've noticed is every time a Somali gets arrested, it's because of the influence Black Americans had on him. You guys are freaking influencing our young in a negative way. They listen to your godforsaken music that's ghetto and nasty. And once they internalize that, they start talking, yo, 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 dog, what's up, dog? You know, that's improper. And I tell them, stop. This is not you. So, yeah. so, so, so the child soldiers and the people running around in your homeland um, robbing each other, killing each other over in your homeland to the point where you have to flee. What rap records do they listen to there? Okay, um, so like I said, I'm from Djibouti. But if you talk, you, you have to talk about my country and it's doing well. It's a middle income African country. It's middle income. Then, what, why, then why are you not there in, in enjoying the middle class money? Why are you not there? And I came here for economic opportunities. I went to the. Oh, I, I went to oh, the. So that, no, no. Because there were none. No, it's, it's, because it's not. There no, because there were none in your homeland, right? No, right? no, it's, it's not that. It's just, just like in the UK, for example. I'll give you an example. U.S. You make way more money in a, for, for example, as a doctor in the U.S. versus U.K. So you see a lot of U.K. people coming here as economic migrants. Doesn't mean doesn't mean that in in the U.K. is a shithole. It just means America is one of the greatest countries. So that's all that it means. So there you go. Right. You're right. You're right. I know it is because we've made it that way because we stay here and we fight and we make no. things pop. It was it was white Americans who I attribute. Right. Yeah. I know why I know you wanna I know you wanna give praises to white white daddy. I know y'all no, know y'all I love, I don't, love, I don't love, them. love look, I know y'all love sucking white balls, sir. I know it. That's why y'all come over here to suck white balls. But listen. It was white mommy and white daddy that helped cause the economic devastation in your homeland. Okay. Those were the ones who caused the economic strife over in your homeland. And sir, like my guy said, y'all have cat addiction over there. Y'all own drugs. The, the, the youth over there are drugged out of their minds. What rap records are they listening to over there in your homeland to make them strung out on cat? Yeah. Can, can I speak? Um, okay. So, you know, those people, when they do fight and kill each other, they're doing it for, um, you know, purposes of getting land and stuff like that. When you guys kill each oh, other oh. over colors, that's more ignoble. Oh. That's not a noble oh, thing to die. Nobody, I, will, I will gladly die for that. Nobody's killing nobody over no color. What uh, What year is this? You think Bro, this I'm is talking about your 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 crypt and blood wars, dude? Dude, you guys kill each other. Up, update your update your stereotypes. This is not 1983. Crips and Bloods are not killing each other, dude. Dude, dude. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Dude, you stop. This is not 1985. Crips and Bloods are not killing each other. They're literally not killing each other. That's not a thing. That hasn't been a thing in damn near 30 years. What are you talking about? You haven't even updated your stereotypes. Crips and okay. Bloods there is no Crips and Bloods war no more. You've been watching old VHS um, tapes of the movie Colors or something. I know y'all get yeah, movies okay. late. You get movies late over there. And Tariq, That's are you? No, 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 no. You're not going to change the subject. You're going to throw out a 30-year-old stereotype. You haven't even updated your stereotypes. And I'm in Los Angeles. Crips and Bloods are not killing each other, dude. That's not even a thing no more. People don't even trip on that shit no more. So stop it. You guys are okay. So, so one second, bro. So, so, no, no, no. You guys are over there slaughtering each other with these different ethnic beefs in your homeland and high on cat to the point where you have to flee. Those are the real Crips and Bloods. So, so see, this is what I mean. When an educated person comes up here, because you're not educated, you're not educated. You're just tether babbling, sir. Sir, you're just tether babbling and fleeing. And, and and the fact that you have to insult me just goes to show you your intelligence I'm not, level. I'm not insulting you, sir. I'm just stating a fact. You're just tether babbling. You're not in Yeah, but you continue muting me doesn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna tether babble. That's what you're not going to do. You're not gonna sit here lying. You're a little man, bro. 
uh, um, Djibouti man, you're not going to sit here and lie uh, because you guys have that scam artist mentality. You guys scam and scheme and lie and deceive. And we're not going to allow you to do that. And there's a lot of jealousy and vitriol and white ass kissing. It's the white man. No, no, no. The white man got your country jacked up. They're the ones who put sanctions on your country and um, mess up the ecology and the economy over there. So that's, you know, you, that, that white you sucking on. Yeah, can can, that, can I speak on that? I'll speak on Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's I'll speak, speak on, on white daddy. Speak, speak, on, speak on white daddy. How, tell me all the good <laughs> white daddy. Yeah, you guys invented the words and daddy and stuff like that to call people. So that's just weird. But anyways, moving on. Here's the thing, bro. Um, what what's happening in Africa? It's it's something that's self imposed. You know, I'm in the, I'm I'm of the view basically. I'm I'm a man. I don't blame others. Um, whatever's okay. happening in Djibouti, it's self imposed. Right now, you if flee. you guys learn you to flee. do that, if you guys learn to if... no 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 no, you flee. That's what you do. Instead of dealing with what goes on over there, you run like what we call a biatch. You run, sir. And that's yeah, not- I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm done with you, bro. Look, if look, you continue to mute me. You won't let me finish my point. So just it's, right. it's not even worth debating with a ignoramus like you, bro. And, You're an ignoramus, and, and I'm too. Ad- You're a wannabe Arab. A lot of y'all are just wannabe Arabs and wannabe whites, and you come yeah, over you here. In- you have you have inferiority. No, so, no, no, no. You're a wannabe. Actor. Have the inferiority complex no, no, to them. That's why no, you continue bringing no, those people up. You have no, 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 no. Alim, Alim. Look, Alim. You have the inferiority complex to them. Alim, you're the and one. I pity you. You have the inferiority complex. Stop bringing people up that have nothing to do with this. Talk Alim. to me instead. I'm talking to you, Alim. You fled. You fled your homeland, sir. And you are very vitriolic towards the people who didn't flee, because there's an honor that we have where we stand and fight and there's an embarrassment that comes with fleeing and you want to project your embarrassment onto us, sir. Why don't you deal with that embarrassment on your own? All right. So <clears throat> see, this is, this is what I mean. Um, Tariq, I looked up, you know, various things about you. It basically, oh, oh, I don't give a damn what you look up about me. One thing you look up, you don't see me fleeing. All right. No matter what you look up, it says, I, I'd be all that, but I didn't flee, nigga. It says you're a high school dropout, see? I, so I cannot converse with the high school. Yes, yes, yes. And how does a high school dropout have more financial success than your whole village? Now, what does that say about your community? I'm a high school dropout, and I have more financial success than your entire village. You dig? I wasn't what even that... born in the village. I was born in the city of Djibouti City. Sir, what, what's your birthday? What's your birthday? Yeah. Dude, you're what's a your, high school dropout. What's your what birthday? What's your birthday? You know, you, you, you're not going to command me, bro. You know? What's you're your the, birthday? You're basically, no, you're no, the no. wife and you're... No, no. Yazid, what's your birthday, sir? Yeah, this old ass dude. Bro, he's 40 what, years old and talking what, like this. If I'm 40 years old, how old are you? What's your birthday? I'm basically 25. What's your birthday? It's What's your birthday? I don't have you muted. Fe- February. Um, yeah, you did. February 2nd, 1998. Okay. okay, you just made that up. No, no, I didn't. February no, you, 2nd, 1998. Your, your, bir- your birthday is on January 1st, ain't it? Uh, ah, ha, ha, ha. See? This is what I mean. These are your, your minions laughing there. Word. They're basically just it, fucking just, uneducated. And, and by the way, my man, Djibouti, that was controlled by the French. So the white supremacists had their foot deep. Your in minions the- who are laughing down there, they're as ignorant no, as. No, 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 no. Your homeland was controlled by the French, right? Dude, you were enslaved. You were beaten. You were whooped. You're, what are you talking about, bro? You you're- too. You too. And you're being beaten and whooped now. You can talk about it. I believe beaten. you're equating chattel slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're being beaten and whipped now. Right now. That's why you have to flee. What are you talking about? You're being. Things beaten. that never happened. Things that. You're an ignoramus. You're basically Sir. a high school dropout. Bye bye. 
Yes, sir. But I'm not You're fleeing. You're an idiot. Though. But Go I'm, fuck yourself I'm, and your wife. I'm not See it, bro. You Yazid. bitch ass nigga. Yazid, why are you trying to use ebonic slang from Foundational Black American? Don't try to talk tough. Don't try to talk tough. First of all, you're too skinny and malnutrition to be tough. All right, he got up out of here. Don't try to sound tough and you're hungry. You bitch ass nigga. No, 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 no. Nobody's afraid of you. Not with that big forehead and that little skinny body. You're the least intimidating dude on earth. You try to raise up on me, you're going to have a heat stroke. You're too frail and malnutrition. You got to eat some more rice and grains and get your little weight up before you try to toughen up, brother. Come on now. That is so non-intimidating. I'm not afraid of any nigga whose rib cage is showing. All right? Skinny gang, skinny gang, skinny gang. All right. Let's get some more people in here. We got a lot of folks in here. All right. Let's get, who was this person? Let's get Lauren. All right. Miss Lauren, hop on, Lauren. Lauren Butler. All right, Miss Lauren Butler. All right, Lauren, you want to hop on, ma'am? Hello. Uh oh, there. Yeah. Hello. Hello, guys. Um, I've been listening to everything since morning. Like, what? what? Okay, what the hell kind of accent was that? I have never. What the hell was that? Okay, that was the weirdest accent I've ever heard. And was that a transgender? Uh, T. S. Giselle. Did you know that person? Was that one of your people? Was that some kind of Lithuanian transgender person? I've never heard an accent like that. And the voice was husky. I thought it was a woman. And it sounded like a Dutch transgender person. Like they got on a thong and some wooden shoes. Okay, what kind of shit was that? All right, let's try something else. All right, well, we're getting the weirdos coming in here. All right, let's get... um. Well, who is this person? Blue. All right, let's get blue in here. Uh, hope, hopefully, this person got their minds right. Blue, you want to hop on? Yeah, I just want to say I appreciate you, sir, um, for speaking up for I guess for black people because yeah, you know I've learned you can't save every black person, but the ones that's conscious, we got to all stick together. So these other people trying to downgrade us, I, I don't appreciate it. Especially when it's our people doing that. So, I mean, I don't know. So, that's all I got to say, yes. sir. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. All right. Let's get um this person here. Um, all right. Let's get um. Let's get wake up. Wake up, Africa. Okay. All right. Let's get wake up, Africa. What's going on, wake up, Africa? Wake up, Africa. Hop on. Yeah, hello, Tariq. How you doing, man? You all right? I'm good, man. What's going on? What part of Africa are you from, brother? <clears throat> West Africa, buddy. There you go. What's on your mind? Uh, just a few questions I have for you. Um, I don't know if that's okay. I mean, I just had some things I would like to, to clarify with you, just to kind of gain some kind of understanding. I, I, All right, let's get it. Okay, okay, yeah. First and foremost, let me ask Tariq, which of the African countries have you been to and when? I've been to a lot of them. I've been to um, the Tanzania, South Africa, um, the, um, Zanzibar, Zimbabwe, um, Egypt, Ethiopia. I've been to a few. I've been to a few. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, you went for the purpose of tourism, correct? Um, tourism, basically, yeah. And, and uh, some people brought me out for a lecture. They brought me to Zimbabwe for a lecture. But yeah, but go ahead. Okay. I mean, the reason I ask that is um, if somebody saw you during your trip in Africa and then said to you, oh, uh, Tariq, I think the reason why you're here is because you're running away from your country and you've come here to earn a living. 
would, what would you think of such, such individual, knowing by yourself that the reason you're there is different from what that person is saying? What would you think of such individual if you hear such thing by yourself? What would it's be your too opinion? Much what, uh, uh, that's too much of a whataboutism, and it's all over the place. So what's the point? Because the whataboutism is, is it's, it's going over my head. What's the point of what you're trying to say, sir? Let's get to the okay, point. I tell, the reason I say that, you see, I listen to, especially when you're talking about uh, a few individuals who spoke, and then you said the reason they have to flee their country is because they yeah. have to come to America to make money, correct? Right, now, which is true. To, yeah. to my understanding, right, there is no country in the world, be it Japan, America, China, Everyone is everywhere making money. Anywhere they find the opportunity to make money, they make money. That doesn't then mean that where they are from, right? There is no economic growth or that there's no money there to be made. People go for opportunities based on what they know. So I do not think that you're right when you say or when you imply that people go to America because... America is the only place they can survive in life. I think that particular idea is, is, is incorrect, Tariq. Don't you think I didn't so? say, Oh, I, I didn't say that. I think you can survive in your own homeland, but too many of you choose not to. And the problem is, this is the problem. The problem is when people come here because of what we've done to help them get here, and you got to roll the Uber windows up, brother. you got to roll the Uber windows up. You got to roll the windows up. The, 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 the windows are killing me. Um, the problem is when people come here after we've helped them, they have a, a tendency to speak negatively on us and try to denigrate us on our homeland and then tell us what we're not supposed to get. That is a major problem. And we're checking anybody with that money. Brother, brother the Postmates orders are going to have to go on call. Hmm. Brother, do Sorry, I need to let you... Yeah. Brother? Yeah? Okay. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm just can, you can you roll your window up at least in your, your Uber? <laughs> Bro, I'm walking on the street, unfortunately. I'm just walking back home, so I'm not in Uber, unfortunately. So that okay. was the wrong guess. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, it's a lot of high activity. What 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 city are you in with all them cars out this time of night? What what city are you in? It's not time of the night. You live in a different continent. So where I am, it's about eight forty three in the morning, Tariq. So we have different times. Oh. And do you, does that make sense? So you if might be at night time. It's eight forty three a.m. where I am. Maybe oh, you, you must be in Britain. Wait, are you in Britain? Because it's eight forty three in Britain right now. Are you in Britain? Well, well, if you check your time well, you can understand that both Nigeria and Britain has the same time when it's summertime. Oh, okay. So, so, so are you? Yes. So, are you? Are you well, in, I'm Britain, in Britain? I'm as you again. I'm in Britain as I speak. Yes. There you go. Right, that's what I thought. All right, you know, that's what I thought. There you go. All right. So, my man. But but you you get the point. And, and look, I love the, the brothers in Britain. I love them over there. I got a lot of respect for them because they show me a lot of love over there in Britain and the UK. They show a lot of love to me. Wow. But so you come what there. happened? Oh, I yeah. Well, I'm I'm banned from Britain. I, they don't let me in there now. They banned me from Britain. But I used to go and I love to go over there. And I'm trying to get the ban lifted off me so I can go back there. But. The problem, like I said, we only have a problem with the tether class who come here and try to undermine us. We don't really have a problem with that. Yeah? And um, <laughs> now, are, are you from Nigeria or are okay, you Caribbean? Go on, go on, sorry. I'm saying now, because Niger you kind of sound Caribbean. I'm a Nigerian. Okay, you're Nigerian, but okay, you, okay, you kind of sound Caribbean. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, brother. But anyway, man, thank you so much. So let me get some more people because all them cars driving by. I don't want him to get hit. And, all right. I, mean, I still think he's probably driving an Uber. I don't even think he's walking. I think he's over there in Britain driving a British Uber. I don't think he's walking. I think he's delivering orders. He's delivering some damn jerk chicken to somebody right now and some egg McMuffins. Let's get um, some other folks in here. We've got a lot of folks in here. And by the way, guys, um, y'all need to check out the movie. 
American Maroon at American-Maroon.com. You guys get the American Maroon Blu-ray. It's, it looks great on Blu-ray. If you want to see the movie American Maroon in high, high definition, that Blu-ray is real crisp and you should get a tangible copy to have. American Maroon is a phenomenal film. My latest film, American-Maroon.com. That's where you can watch the film. American-Maroon.com, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get um, some more people in here. Hey, we got a lot of tethers, a lot of tethers in here. Okay, there are a lot of tethers in the building. Um, let's get um, Saint the Rager, whatever his name is. Saint the Rager, hop in, Saint the Rager. All right, Saint the Rager. Hop in. Uh, what's up, Tariq? Um, I was going to ask, did you see uh, that thing about Nick Fuentes on that Fresh and Fit podcast? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna save that to tomorrow to unpack that. Yeah, thank you, brother. I, I I'm gonna save that to tomorrow. My Sunday show with Nick Fuentes with a whole bunch of quote unquote sisters all hugged up with Nick Fuentes. That's a whole. I'm gonna delve into that tomorrow. I gotta. That's too much to unpack. Um, Beth, Miss Beth, hop in, ma'am. Oh, this is going to be off topic. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just want to... Go ahead. Beth. I just want to... I'm curious. Is anybody paying attention to what's going on in the skies at all? Like what? What do you mean, Beth? Well... They've been spraying the skies for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years. We haven't been paying attention. We look up, we say, oh, it's a cloudy sky. It's hazy. Beth? Yes? Did somebody sell you mushrooms today, Beth? (laughs) No. Okay, Beth? I know this is the middle of the month and a lot of the drugs are kind of stepped on. They don't have the good drugs right now, but you're going to have to wait till the first of the month to get the good drugs, man. <laughs> They're not giving you good drugs. They're not giving you good drugs, but wait till the first of the month, Beth. Thank you so much. All right. Lord. Okay, let me get some more folks in here. Please don't let them step on your dope. Okay. Those are there too? Okay. Let's see. Um... Let's get, um, let's get, um, I don't know what your name is, bro. Okay. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. It starts with an A, brother. I don't know how to pronounce that. The brother with the name that starts with an A. Hop on if you can. Yeah, it's Aeschylus. Aeschylus. Okay, that's that's an interesting name. Where are you from? Is that a Greek name? Or yeah, it's uh, well, it's a Greek name. It's a name that's given to me as sort of like a uh, it's a nickname, really. Okay, um, but I'm Kenyan. You are you from Kenya? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's on your mind, bro? Yeah, my you know my question to you is this, right? Um, obviously, you are a Black American man who wants to talk about you know the struggles with the Black American community the improvements, the gains, you know, the changes that have occurred. And you want to talk about, you know, tethered groups, you know, these groups that wish to attach themselves to you guys, to attach themselves to your glory, your success, and, you know, attribute it to themselves, right? But uh, my question is this, you know, I really do not see the growth in the, uh, the black American community that you are talking about. I don't see it because I look at... Um, for example, I give you this. I look at the SAT scores, the, the gap between uh, blacks and other groups in America, right? Not just the black Americans, but also the immigrant groups. I don't see great improvements. There was a very big IQ test um, administered, a uh, set of IQ tests administered very recently. I think it was last year, big project, uh, millions put into it. And black Americans did not perform very well, uh, average IQ of 83, compared to some other groups which are much higher. 
and oh, sorry. and you know this uh, to me I also see black uh, other black Africans underperforming in the states as well. But my question is, these changes I feel like as a group, uh, black Americans yes the best of the the blacks in the world right for sure better than most of us. But I feel like as a group we are still stagnant. What are your thoughts on that? Okay. Well, the thing is, foundational Black Americans, we're fine. First of all, um, we're doing better than other groups, especially from places where you come from, because you guys um, completely failed where your homelands are to the point where not only do you flee, you have to be dishonest about where you're from. Like you, you're not Kenyan. That's not a Kenyan accent. You're from somewhere else. So you're not even proud enough for your no, homeland. No, I grew, up, in- I grew up in a... I grew up in Estonia, and I grew up in southern Ukraine, in Crimea, in Alushta. Right. right. Why did you say you're from Kenya? That's uh, that's where I'm ancestrally from. I'm half Kenyan. My father is Kenyan, and, you know, we take our father's side. What's your mother? My mother is Crimean, uh, from North Fedorovka, um, in southern Ukraine. Right. Yeah, that's a southern Europe. That's like a... That e- that's an Eastern European accent you have. Yeah. So you, you didn't want to say that. And I'm, I'm really doubting the Kenyan part. But the thing is, over there in your homeland, even in the southern Ukraine, it's not popping over there. I've been to Eastern Europe and Greece and all of those places. That's why your name is Greek, by the way. Y'all live over there in poverty. Y'all guys are struggling and starving over there. So you don't even use your whiteness to its fullest advantage. So y'all can't sit here and talk about what foundational black Americans are doing. Now, where are you now? You're here in the United States now, are you? No, I'm actually in, uh, well, I'm not in the United States. Since the war, I've had to move uh, elsewhere. I'm in Turkey right now, Ankara, beautiful city. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that accent again. Yeah. So you guys, you primarily identify as European, probably. I, I really doubt that whole Kenyan thing. I just really doubt that because that accent is too Eastern European, but yeah, y'all got to get together over there. Y'all don't really have it popping over there in none of your homelands. So we're doing better than that. I'll say that no matter how we're doing over here, we go through whatever we go through. But we as foundational black Americans, we are rooted in our strong, deep culture and our resilience. And we're we're fine. Um, Our problem is we try to help all of these other groups who then turn around and talk about what we need to do. Y'all need to start fixing your homeland. That's what you guys need to do. And then come talk to us about progress. But thank you so much. All right. Yeah, that, that that wasn't no Kenyan accent. Yeah, see, these guys all over the place, they flee from one country to a damn another. They flee all over the damn world and then talk about what foundational black Americans, the, the SAT scores, nigga, stop it. All right, let's get some more people in here. All right, we got a lot of folks. Yeah. yeah. Where are my Ukraine, my UK people? Shout out to everybody in the UK. All right. Get um, what's your name, man? Kayak, kayak. What's up, kayak? What's up? I see brother Marcel Dixon down there. Black Voltron down there. Kayak, hop on, man. It's a lot of lovely ladies down here. Or either y'all profiles are fake, but the ladies are real lovely tonight. Shout out to the lovely ones, or shout out to your lovely profiles. Y'all might be big, husky, and musty. Yo, um, Tariq, Kayak. how are you, hey, brother? Ka- hey, Kayak, how are you? Good. Do you remember me? Um, no, I don't, unfortunately. Where do I know you from, ma'am? Um, I was a sister, a Somali sister from Australia that you spoke to. Remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. When, how long ago was this, man? This was like uh, probably like a few months ago. Um, and you started roasting that guy from Somali Pirates when I got off. Okay. Well, I, I roast them all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah, yes. look. Um, so I, I live in Australia, right? And yeah. um, 
over here that like they're even starting to talk about like um reparations for like indigenous australians right yeah. and um yeah. they try to like link it to reparations for black americans saying that because it's not feasible over there it won't be feasible here because you know white australians are racist as hell here um yeah and they keep on trying to like talk about woke and i realize that they link everything in with woke because i googled woke and you know marcus garvey used a term like back in the day like before any lgbt crap and all this other gender studies and stuff so why do you think they're trying to use a black liberation term and then link it with like all this other stuff that conservatively black people aren't even for Right, right. Well, they try to use things as code words. R woke is like a euphemism for black folks. So it's almost like um, the word thug a few years ago, they would use thug as a euphemism for black people. So they try to use all of these little anti-black code words. So instead of attack attacking a black person, it's like, we're going to attack woke. We're going to have a war on woke. So they use it as a code word and a, and a proxy. So anything they don't like that's associated with black people, just say it's woke and then just attack the word woke. We're going to make woke illegal in school. So what's woke? Woke is whatever we say it is. It's we, I'm white and I say so. So that's an old tactic that they use, old white supremacist tactic. All right, let's get, um, um, who we got? Um, let's see. We got a lot of folks in here. Y'all raise your hand if y'all want to get on, because I got a lot of folks in here. Um, uh, let's get this person arrogant. Let's get arrogant in here. Yeah, I'm trying to get some new faces in here. Ooh. What's up, arrogant? Yo, what's going on, Tyree? What's up with you, man? I fuck with your videos, bro. That's what's up, man. I love it. What's on your mind, brother? Now nah, I'm just showing love, bro. Uh, I've been watching your videos heavily recently, though. I fuck with you, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I love thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. All right, let's get um, Chadical Coder. Chadical Coder. What's up, Chadical Coder? Afternoon. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. What's up, Chattical? Oh, not much. I mean, I it's a couple of things. I mean, that lady mentioned woke. I wouldn't use it to describe anything black. I'd actually describe it to, or I'd use it to describe things that are like Jewish in nature. Like transgenderism is a Jewish creation, a Jewish phenomenon. Uh, that's what like a lot of them are using it to to describe. But the funny thing about woke that though, is used to describe okay, that like things. Make... What's up? What do you say? I said that, that kind of didn't make sense, but go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but the other thing too, and the funny thing about woke is it's it's what's like a transient adjective. It's like used to describe things that, um, like at, at first, I remember back in like 2016, people were using it to mean um, like, oh, I'm woke. Like I understand the nature of the world around me. It's not like the way that the media would portray it to be where things are like, you know, not exactly how or not exactly like what they seem like it seemed like it could be a white like a, a right wing white people word and then um gay people started adopting it at a certain point to say that like you know like they're woke about you know like the oppression that they they encounter in the society and stuff and so it's, it's something that's been co-opted and used by a lot of different groups actually it's kind of like an interesting right. thing to do um now now, now, now where are you from bro um, I, honestly, I'm from all over the United States. I, I move state to state. I've been in a different state about every six months right now. I'm in California. Got it. All but, right. Well, Bye -bye. I do have one question, though. Um, and so Go this, ahead. Go this ahead. lady, uh, you know, she mentioned the Nick Fuentes appearance. Would you ever do a debate with him? I'd kind of like enjoy seeing y'all go toe to toe. I think you could beat him. Yeah. The thing is, he's a troll. So it wouldn't, it would immediately get into some troll shit. So it wouldn't even be worth it. He's already, a, there's a couple of reasons why I wouldn't debate him. Number one, he would just troll as a way to tap out. And number two, even if I debunk him, it doesn't affect him because in mainstream white society, he's not accepted because he's a known white supremacist. So he doesn't have a reputation to diminish. 
See, it's only good to debate somebody when their reputation is on the line. He's a clown within white society. Yo, this is a clip of Tariq roasting another Somali pirate. They keep lying, talking about their Call of Duty map country got a lot of money. And I've been saying that dude P. Diddy might be from Somalia. But, but man, election season is coming up, so I'm about to start live streaming some more spaces. I'm going to try to do at least one live stream a week. But anyway, that's all I really got to say about this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most active on. And also make sure to follow me on Rumble. That's where I post videos in case they get taken down on here.